One of the biggest challenges for AP departments is reducing the cost of processing the inbound invoices. For customers that produce, let's say, or receive, shall I say, 500 invoices a day or more, there's a huge opportunity to reduce the cost. The industry says that the cost of processing an inbound invoice is 17 bucks. I think that's a little high. Let's say it's 10 bucks. There's a whole industry out there, an industry selling ECM systems to help reduce the cost of processing inbound invoices. In their world, they talk about, I can halve that down to maybe four or five dollars a piece by adding process automation. And that process automation is taking the inbound invoice, scanning it, maybe extracting some data like a, an index, for example, and then workflowing it through an organization. Approval process for, processes, for example, to ultimately pay that bill. And that's great. The suggestion here with Objective Loon Connect is we can reduce that price all the way down to maybe 20, 30, 40 cents. The question is how? So to reduce the price all the way down to 20, 30, 40 cents, we have to look at the inbound document in a completely different way. Instead of treating it as an inbound piece of paper or a PDF I have to then process through ECM, let's see if we can get to that document before it turned into an image on a piece of paper. If we can attach to the original print file that produced that document and extract the data from that, I don't need to go through the complexities of OCR and ECM systems to extract that data. So how are these transactions produced? All invoices are produced by an ERP or a line of business system and they're printed. They're printed to paper and they're printed to PDF. If we can connect to that first generation PDF as an example and get that into Connect, now our data mapping technology in Connect can extract that data and turn it into useful information we can process right back to the line of business system. The way I start a conversation with a customer is to understand their business. In many cases in the warehousing, manufacturing, distribution space, there's large volumes of transactions. In reality, many of these clients already have an EDI infrastructure attached to their line of business system. Why? Because they want to transact their business at a very low price at very high speed. So the question I ask is, do you have EDI implemented today? If the answer is yes, then the beauty of the Planet Press Connect technology is we can take that data we've extracted from the inbound document from that PDF, convert it to a digital file, push it to our partners, it turns into an EDI transaction on a standard value-added network right into their accounting system, completely eliminating paper. So that's great, right? They already process maybe 20% of their inbound transactions electronically, nothing to do with us, that system's in place already. But what about the 80%? Then I analyze their business. Where do these documents come from? Well, it turns out in many cases, the lion's share of that volume comes from a small number of suppliers. It's the 80-20 rule. So if we can take off that lion's share of the transactions, turn them into incoming PDFs by talking to their suppliers, that's a fairly easy conversation. Don't print and scan an email, just simply print the document and send it to us. Now we can extract all that data. If I can take that, let's say 80% of the 80% and turn it into an electronic transaction at let's say 20 cents, then all that's left is the long tail. And the long tail, the last let's say 20%, can be managed by scanning, manual workflow, ECM, et cetera, et cetera. So the blend of technologies is ECM to handle the long, tra long trail, Planet Press Connect to handle the conversion of the PDF to data, and then the EDI technology to handle the high-end volume that the customer already has in place. We now understand that Planet Press Connect can extract data from this inbound stream, which I've already explained. The question is, what does the customer want to do with that data? Well, a re real key part of the inbound invoicing process is you've got to be sure that the invoice is correct, right? You don't want to overpay or underpay. So how do you do that? That's called a three-way match. And the three-way match is comparing the data we now have with the purchase order data. That's easy to get. The customer downloads on a nightly basis their purchase order database to Insider Connect. That's easy. And then the third piece is what do we actually deliver? Well, that's the proof of delivery. Potentially, if they're using uh, COTG technology, we have control over that data as well. So now it's nothing more than comparing databases. Does the invoice match the purchase order and any changes made to the purchase order by the delivery? If the answer is yes, simply process that transaction. Now this is again where the blender technology works. Supposing the answer is no, there's an issue. Something went wrong in that match. Perfect. Now what we do is we format a document, we compose it with Planet Press Connect, we push that document into an ECM system where they workflow it with their workflow technology to the, to the appropriate customer service rep to fix the problem. And then on the process goes. So in conclusion, what are some killer questions to ask the end user to expose opportunity, either for yourselves or for your channel partners? Well, a big one is, do you take advantage of early discounts from invoicing? Without data, you have no idea. 
What about overpayment? Do you overpay on invoices? Actually, it's fairly common. Without three-way matching, it's a fairly common process that we can completely eliminate. How many people do you have manually processing invoices? If it's a large number of staff doing manual jobs, we can greatly enhance that. With that blend of technology, we can greatly reduce the cost of processing inbound invoices.